Hello and welcome. Today we shall prove the Chernoff inequality, also known as the Chernoff bound, um, in its multiplicative form, meaning that on the right side of this term we have 1 plus beta times the expected value. Okay, let us restate the problem. Uh, given arbitrary binary random variables xi through xn, where pi is the probability that xi equals 1, then n equals the sum of the probabilities is the expected value of a random experiment. Now the following inequality holds. The probability that a random experiment strays from the expected value by more than a factor of 1 plus beta is less or equal to the term on the right side. Okay, so this here is our random experiment. This is the expected value. And this is the, uh, uh, the factor our experiment is supposed to stray. Now let's prove this inequality right here. We'll start with a somewhat simpler expression we just say okay our uh, random experiment is uh, greater than some variable t uh, and we will just play around with it a little bit we will uh, multiply both sides of this inequality with a and we will also apply the exponential function on both sides okay so basically the right side looks like this now a times t and this is what you see right up here okay so now we use the mark of inequality we just plug it in this is just one side of the mark of inequality um, if this confuses you maybe it's because of this minus right here so we could also write this down like this E A T. And now it, it looks like in the textbooks. Uh, you will also find a proof of the Markov inequality on this channel shortly. It it'll be really easy. It's it's not a long proof. Okay, so in the next step, we use the following rule of uh, exponentials. E to the power of R J plus I is the same as e to the power of i times e to the power of j. Okay, so uh, additions in the exponent are uh, products in the base. So this uh, summation sign turns into this product sign right here. Okay, so now that we have this form, we will plug in uh, 1 plus beta times the expected value for t and we will plug in the natural logarithm of 1 plus beta for a. Now I want to remind you that e to the power of the natural logarithm of something equals something. All right. Uh, so here we, we've just plugged in the numbers for t nothing interesting happens and here we plug in what we wanted to plug in for a but we immediately apply the rule that this basically drops down into the base because it was in this logarithm the next thing we want to do is we want to simplify this term on the right here and what we want to do is look at this okay so Basically, xi can be a 1 or a 0 in any given random experiment. So with probability pi, this will turn out to be 1 plus beta. And with probability 1 minus pi, this will turn out to be uh, 1, because anything to the power of 0 just becomes 1. So this will be equal to 1 plus beta times pi 
and this will be less or equal to e to the power of beta times pi. Now that we have this form, uh, we can plug it in right here. And again, we have a product in the base, uh, so we could turn this into a sum in the uh, exponent. Okay, so we could have the following term in the exponent. Now beta uh, isn't a variable in this summation, so we can just write it down like this. And this we have seen before, this is just the expected value. So what we really got is beta times the expected value. Now if we write this down right here, this is actually just beta times the expected value in the exponent, okay, and this whole product goes away. And now we see, okay, this here will uh, turn to this beta times n one plus beta to the power of one plus beta times n. And this is exactly what we wanted to prove.